In this video, we're going to show you how to launch Facebook ads for your business. Are you ready to learn? Let's cue that intro. I'm Kelly Sturdivant. I'm a Facebook ad strategist, and I help business owners optimize their ads to scale and convert their products and services. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you stay up to date on all things Facebook ads, as well as like this video and give us a comment below. Have you run ads for your business yet? You finally got to a point in your business, you're ready to run ads. Fantastic. In this video, we're going to show you how to get set up for your very first ad campaign. Now, for the sake of this training, we are going to assume you've already created your, fa your Facebook business manager, as well as your Facebook pixel. If you have not done these steps yet, you can go to business.facebook.com and do the walkthrough for how to set up your business manager and ads manager. If you haven't set up your pixels, you'll find trainings below in my YouTube channel to walk you through those processes. So let's dive into our ads manager and begin to create our first ad. The first thing you need to decide when you're running an ad is what is your objective? This means what is the goal that you're hoping to achieve with this ad? You have three different categories for your ad to belong to. You have awareness, consideration, and conversion. Awareness campaigns are essentially designed just to bring brand awareness to your business. Now, companies such as Coca-Cola may use brand awareness because for them, it's like a billboard. So if you were just looking to get people familiar with who you are and what you offer, you could run a, an awareness campaign. Consideration ads are designed for people to have a little bit more familiarity with your brand. Traffic is the most basic type of ad that you can run, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's sending traffic to an offsite website. So this can be a really great way for you to build up your Facebook pixel information for future targeting later down the line. It also could be used if you had blog posts that you wanted people to be able to read and view, or if you had uh, any sort of landing page that you didn't have specific actions on, you just wanted people to be familiar with the brand. Engagement campaigns are designed really to help you build up your brand awareness and your Facebook page. Especially for small businesses or local businesses, engagement campaigns can work really well to help build up your page profile as more, more and more people are starting to look for businesses through Facebook rather than through Google. Finally, we're going to talk a little bit about conversion ads. Now, these are when you have a specific action you'd like something, someone to take on your site. Maybe you have products for sale, maybe you have a webinar that you're looking to get registrations for, or you have a form that you would like people to enter. Conversion ads are a way to track those specific actions and be able to give you costs associated with those actions taken. So for the sake of this training, we're going to do a conversion ad. When it comes to naming your ad campaign, you want to make sure you name it something that you are familiar with and that when you're scrolling your ad manager, you'll be able to determine which ad campaign belongs to whatever you're selling. So in this case, we're going to date it at our date and we're going to have a purchase ad and it's our small ticket product. Finally, we come to our budget. Now, right now you have two options for budgeting your ads. You have your campaign budget optimization or you have the budget at the ad set level. Facebook allows you to create the campaign budget optimization. What this allows you to do is select a specific budget per day or for the lifetime of your campaign and the ad spend will be filtered out between all of the ads within that campaign. This is great if you have a couple of ads that you're looking to see which one performs better or you want Facebook to do its job and optimize your ads accordingly. At the ad set level, you can select specific budgets for each ad set. So maybe you had two different audiences you were looking to run your ads to and you wanted to spend a little bit more on one ad set over the other. That can be done at your ad set level. Ultimately, you can do either option at the campaign budget optimization or at the ad set level. I like to experiment with both, but generally the campaign budget optimization is my favorite to use. So we'll select the budget and we'll select a budget of say $10 a day. Next, we have to make sure we are doing, we have our pixel and that we have selected the right conversion event for this particular uh, campaign. In this case, we have a small ticket product that we're trying to sell. So we want to make sure we're using our purchase pixel. Next, we get into our audience. Now, this is the fun part. This is where you get to get really creative on the types of people that you are looking to attract 
with your products and services. The first thing is your location. Now it'll default to people living in or recently in this location. I like to make sure it is living in this location. In this case, we are selecting the entire United States and then we have our age range. Now, if we were to leave this as is, you'd see from our audience size that we have a potential reach of 230 million people. This is far too large for any business to be running. So we kind of want to dial this down a little bit. So in our age range, let's say we want to target women uh, between the ages of 30 and 55. Make sure we select women. And now you'll see we've jumped down to about 57 million. Now, this is also still too large. We wanna be able to kind of dial that in a little bit further for our audience. So in here, you have the ability to select multiple ways of targeting people. You'll have demographics, which can relate to specific events in people's lives, such as their education, whether they're parents, whether they're married or single, uh, and even where they work. Under your interest, this one is probably the biggest one that you'll be using for your ad campaigns. Now it breaks it out into different categories so you can scroll through and kind of pick and choose which ones you'd like, or we can just enter them in and it'll bring it up. So let's say we have a, um, a fitness pro product that we are looking to target uh, women uh, who are interested in fitness. So maybe we have health, uh, maybe we're using a health magazine to target people maybe they have an interest in weight training uh, and maybe they have an interest in health and wellness overall now let's say we want to get specific on a type of woman with our products in this case maybe we want to uh, exclude people who like yoga because our product has nothing to do with yoga So you can see we've dropped our audience reach by from 57 to 32 million. So this can allow you to kind of play around with your detailed targeting options to bring that audience size down to a more manageable level. Now, depending on your budget or who you are targeting, this can be in a range of between uh, a million to 10 million people. If you are a local business, this obviously will be a lot smaller in a number. For the sake of this training, we're going to continue on with this level. In our languages, we want to select English. Now we have placements. Generally, I like to just leave it as automatic placements. That allows Facebook to do its job and put your ads out into all of the different places that it advertises for you. However, if you are only wanting to do Facebook newsfeed or maybe you're looking just for Instagram, you do have the ability to select those only. So as you can see, you have a bunch of different options for your ads and where they would belong. So maybe you wanted to eliminate stories uh, and in stream and in in the search bar. So you can pick and choose where you'd like them to go. Maybe you don't want Instagram at all. You can make sure that that is selected off and it will not advertise at all to Instagram. Otherwise, you can just leave this as automatic placements and let Facebook do its job. Next, we have the ability to select a schedule for our ads to run. Generally, I just let my ads run continuously. I don't select a specific uh, a time of day that my ads run. They run 24 hours a day. But you do have the option to select a start and end date, and that is where this can be done here. So let's say you only had $100 that you wanted to spend and you wanted to make sure that your campaigns were turned off at $100. You could select uh, however many days you wanted to run this. In this case, we have a $10 a day budget. So we could select 10 days to run this campaign for. Then our ads automatically complete after that 10 days and we're not overspending on our ads. If you are like me and you're constantly in your ads manager, you can let it run on a daily basis and then just keep an eye on it on a daily basis to make sure things are still running the way they should run. Next, we get into the actual ad itself. So if you had an Instagram account, you could add your Instagram account there. So it would, if you were advertising on Instagram, your Instagram account would be the one that it's advertised to. You do have some options for how to format your ads. You have carousel, which allows you to have multiple images within that same ad, your single image or video, or a collection. 
Now, collections work really well if you're e-commerce and you're selling a lot of different products. Carousel can work well if you have a couple different uh, products you wanted to showcase. Generally speaking though, your single image or video is what most people would use. Next, you can select your images. So you can upload all your images through the Facebook Ads Manager itself. In this case, we can actually choose multiple images to run. Once you have your images in, you'll see that you have add one and add two. So these will create two different ads for you. Uh, you if you have this ability in your ads manager, you can select upwards of six images. Make sure it doesn't automatically cop to square so you have the full image for your ad done up. Next is our primary text. So this is the body of your ad. This is what you want people to do when they see your ad. So you really wanna convey what it is that you're offering uh, that will get someone to actually click the button and move on to your site. So we only get a couple lines of text before Facebook adds in that see more line. So you really wanna get very specific on the actions that the people will take for this. Uh, so let's say we have a product, we could say, so in this case, we're targeting uh, women who uh, are interested in health and wellness and fitness. So let's say we have a product that we're looking to sell to them. So grab my, my weight training program and learn how to get stronger faster without the need for a fancy gym. You'll see that once you start to move down the line, my product. So as you can see, as you start to type in the remainder of your ad, you'll get this lovely see more button. So this allows you to see just how little text you have within that ad to really grab someone's attention here. After that, you can continue adding in as many things as you want. Benefit one. Benefit two. So at least three benefits that you can add in. And then finally, your final call to action. And there you can include your link to your product itself. The headline is, as you can see on the ad itself, the headline will display there. Uh, so let's say we have got my weight training program and then your website. So again, you wanna direct people to wherever their landing page is for this product and service. Perfect. And that's all it takes to create your first ad. When you're all done, you can head on down and select the confirm button and it will then go into Facebook's uh, approval process. It can take upwards of 24 hours for your ads to be approved, at which point you'll get an email and a notification in your Facebook account that the ads have been approved and are running. Generally give yourself at least 48 hours for the ads to run and start to optimize before you make any changes to it. I have a free resource in the bio section of this video to help you along the way. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a like and share it with your community. I hope you had a wonderful time. Thanks. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through all of the ways in this tutorial you want people to take a specific so these work really well to help you build up your Facebook page for 